Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, and today we're going to be making a colored animation motion trail effect. This effect is great for doing all kinds of things to highlight animations on your videos. The animation trail is colored, you can adjust the colors, settings, all kinds of effects. This effect is called Just Color Trails, and you can download it from my website, buildjustice.com. This effect is free, but if you want to help support the channel, there is an option to contribute a little bit when you download it. Um, definitely not necessary, but if you'd like to, I really appreciate your support. If you enjoy my videos, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. I got lots more things planned. Okay, let's go through some of the options and I'll show you a few examples of some of the things that you can do with this effect. To download the Just Color Trails effect, go to my website, buildjustice.com. Right now there's an option on the home page called Color Trails. You can click that to download the effect. If you don't see it there, click the Download Effects option over here on the right. And this will go to the page with all my effects and find the color trails and click download DRFX. Once you download the DRFX file, just double click it to open it. That'll pop up a message in Resolve and give you the option to install it. Okay, let's set up the color trails effect. We have some text we're going to add it to and we also have the DaVinci Resolve logo. We're going to animate both of these and add some trails. So go to the effects area in toolbox effects, open up the effects folder, select William Justice and you can drag just color trails right onto the text and let's go ahead and drag it onto the Resolve logo. We're not going to see anything yet because we have to animate the text for the trails to show up. You'll see that we have the effects folder and just color trails. For the animation to work you don't want to use the settings in the video area. You have to use the effects, just color trails and you can use the transform settings inside of the effect. You see that we're getting some trails there. This effect can be pretty slow moving text around and images creating the trails. So you can use the blend option and bring that all the way down. That's going to turn off the effect and make it a lot easier for you to set up your animation and move your clips and images and text around. So let's take the text and move it to the upper left and go to the beginning of our text clip here. We're going to set a keyframe and let's go over about two seconds and we're going to set another keyframe. Go to the left over here and we're going to open up the fusion overlay and take the text and just drag it down to the bottom area here. Now to make the motion path a little more interesting, click the, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, click the ending point. We'll take this handle and drag it up to adjust the motion path. And let's take the beginning point and we're going to take the handle and drag it down. So we're going to get a little bit more interesting motion on this. Okay, it's not too bad. We'll take off the fusion overlay. And let's re-enable the effect and see what happens. So we're going to go to the blend here in the trail and we're going to bump that up. And you'll see that we start to get an effect. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, let's go through some of the options. Um, obviously the blend mode is how, how much the effect is applied. The effect works using the duplicate node creating copies. So if we make the number of copies smaller, the trail will be smaller. And if we make it bigger, the trail is going to be longer and it, with the more copies, it's going to take um, longer to render. So you might want to be careful with that. Let's bump the number of copies down. Okay. So we have the number of copies and then the time offset is what the time interval is between each of the copies it's created. So the smaller this is, the closer the copies are going to be together. So if we make it um, minus five, the copies are going to be a lot further apart. So closer to zero means they're going to be a lot closer together. So there we are. That's minus one. And if we do uh, minus 0.1, they're going to be really close together. And this is going to create more of the solid trail effect. Let's back it up a bit so we can kind of see. So you can see that's more of the solid kind of trail. Let's do a little, few more copies so we get a longer trail. And we're going to bump this up to 0.3. Uh, sorry, that would be minus 0.3. The fade out option will fade the copies out so you kind of get a, a faded effect as the animation goes. Now this option, gradient source color, right now it's using the source color for the um, text or the image. You see we have trails there and it's using the same blue. If you want to use a colorized text, you just take this slider and move it over to one and it's going to colorize the trail based on this color gradient that we have set up right here. So let's go ahead and add in some colors. You can kind of see how this works. I'm just going to randomly pick some colors. May not look the best, but it'll work. And let's play the animation and see what it looks like. Okay, you see the color cycles between each of the things, and you'll, you'll notice at the very end, it's ending up as green, and our color spectrum goes all the way to the blue. So what this means is the colors change from the full duration of this clip, so you can adjust the timing of the color scale. And we're gonna take that and make the colors um, transfer a little bit faster by bumping this up. And you notice as we do that, we get to the blue at the end. Um, that's how you can adjust when the colors will are gonna show up. Next option is a row dilate. Sometimes 
we'll get we'll zoom in here. When you apply the some of the effects, the trail does not look quite right. You can use the erode dilate to we can shrink it with the erode. I'll make it a little bit smaller, and we can make it a little bit bigger to kind of go around. See, it's kind of going around the S there. Kind of just uh, just an option for you to make some adjustments. Okay, the next option is edge shape. So in this case, our shape is the trails text, and we can put an edge around that. So we'll take the blend and bring that up. And you'll see that we got a shape around that. So we kind of look like more of a block stacked kind of a look. And you can adjust the width and brightness of that. That's the edge shape. The next one is the edge, the uh, edge for the trail. And so this is basically what it does. It puts an edge around the entire trail. So let's bump this up. And you'll see it's an edge around the full thing. And we can blend it back down to kind of get some of those colors in there and adjust the width. And that's the edge trail. So let's let's take a look at what that would look like if we use this for the full animation. And let's go ahead and add a fade out on the very end. And do some more copies. And so we get kind of the, we get that kind of a look right there. Let's uh, see what that animation looks like. There's a few more options here. That's the basics of it. Um, so anyway, that's the edge trail effect. Then we have a, a glow option, and we turn this up, and you can see it just kind of adds a little glow in there. And we, we got a nice glow effect. And then down at the bottom, I just threw in a lot of random stuff. Um, these are some things from the uh, the duplicate um, node and a few other things. If you adjust these, you might get some kind of crazy different little looking effects. Uh, yeah, that went that went way crazy. Not what I expected. So anyway, a lot of different things you can do. Uh, okay, yeah. The, change the angle a lot, and you're going to get some really crazy stuff. Um, okay, let's go over to the DaVinci Resolve logo and see what we can do with that. Just do some real basic stuff. Okay, we got the Resolve logo. We're going to click the clip, click Effects, and we're going to um, take the size first, and we're going to bring the size down. And again, let's take the blend and set that to zero so that we're able to make these adjustments a little bit easier. I'm going to quickly just set up an animation here for the logo. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, rotation. We're going to set the uh, keyframe, the angle, and go to the very end, and we're going to make it spin, let's say, uh, 360. Let's do, let's do more spinning. We'll, we'll, we'll do two. Let's do uh, 720. Okay, we have the animation set up. Let's uh, put the trail back on and see what we got. Okay, you'll notice it's creating copies of the image, so we're getting a, a duplicate of the Resolve logo. Let's turn on the color option by sliding the slider over and all of those are going to turn into the colors. We're going to make them a little further apart. So let's make it at uh, minus four, uh, maybe too much. Let's go minus two. And let's do uh, eight copies. And we're going to take the blend and bring that down a little bit. And let's play with this gradient and add some more colors in. Okay, just like before, we want the colors to cycle a little bit faster. So we're going to take this uh, color scale up. You see right now they're all in this yellow range right here. And let's bump up the time scale. And the best way to do this is if you get to the end, you'll see it's coming into the orange and then to the blue. So that, that looks pretty good. We got that. I'm going to space these out a little bit more. Let's, let's do minus, uh, minus three. And we'll do um, six copies. Oh, that looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and add some effects to this. We're going to take the uh, the edge shape and bump that up so that each of these um, each of the shapes has a little bit of an edge around it. And let's add a little bit of a glow. I think I want the copies to be closer together. So let's do. Uh, we'll go back to minus, let's go to minus one and let's have uh, twenty copies. All right there, we got a nice little trail. Hopefully, you have an idea of how this works. Um, you really can go in and play around with these to create all kinds of different effects. The Just Color Trails effect can be pretty slow to render, but fortunately Resolve has a great solution to fix this. What I recommend doing is, especially if you have a lot of these, is to right click on your clip, choose Render in Place, and I'm going to select DNX HR, and then choose DNX HR SQ, and then click Render. I'm going to choose our folder and hit Select Folder, and this is going to render the media as a video clip so it'll run a lot faster inside your timeline. Okay, now that we know how to use it, I'm going to show you a little bit about how it was built in Fusion, kind of give you an idea of how it's set up. It was really simple and only takes a few notes. Um, let's get into Fusion and see how I set this up. All right, I want to show you real quick how I set this up. Uh, there's a few little things in Fusion that might be interesting. 
Let's uh, get a fusion composition and click the icon to go into fusion. We're going to add a background node and go to the media pool and we're just going to use this resolve image. I'm going to take it and take the output and merge it on top of the background. We're going to add a transform node and we'll size it up a bit. So for the color trail, I used a fast noise. Let me zoom in here. I'm going to take a fast noise and put it into the node area. And I'm going to take the output of the fast noise and put it right on top of the background. The fast noise is set to be the color for the trail. Um, so with this setup, it would just be the fast noise pattern, but let's change it to be a colored. Um, select the fast noise, go to color, and choose gradient. And let's set up a gradient. We're going to go, um, let's choose a blue. And for the end of the gradient, we'll click that little triangle and let's make it green. So for the gradient type, we're going to choose linear. And you see we start to get the look there and click noise and we're going to take the detail out of it so we'll have a nice smooth transition. The trick I did here, so I, went, I wanted the full background to be a solid color and that the full background color to change as the trails were moving. So what I did is I took the, you'll see this little handle here, and this is allows you to adjust where the gradient is. So you can see we can kind of move the gradient starting and ending positions around. And I took the, the beginning, the start right here, and I moved it just way out like that. And I took the end and did the same thing and I moved that way out. So you see we're starting to get like a solid color. So we get a blue there. So it's kind of a solid color blue. Let me see, let's add in some more colors in here so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so let's move these out a little bit further so that it's the whole background is almost a solid color. All right, so the whole background is kind of green. And this is, this is the green, you kind of play around with it, but this is the green from right here in the middle. See, we're moving it. To get the full background to change color, what I did was I animated the offset property. So if you go to 0.5, that's going to be at the beginning of the gradient. And if you go to minus 0.5, it's going to be, end up be the green. So as we can change this anywhere between those two numbers, you see we kind of get into some solid colors here. So that, that's a full red. And I, remember, this is different because what would happen is if we took these endpoints and moved them in, the gradient would be over the full background. So I, I was trying to get the solid color. So let's undo that. I took the offset property and I used the anim curves to animate it over the length of the animation. So we could right click, modify with anim curves and go to modifiers. And I set the offset at minus 0.5. And then we did the invert. And so that means at the beginning of the animation, it's going to start out at one end. And at the end, we're going to have our solid blue. And that's mirroring what we have here. So actually that's inverting what we have here, but it's roughly doing the same thing. So we're, I think what I, when I, when I did the original animation, I stretched out even further. So the color was really, really solid there. This is a way you can kind of have a, a rotating solid color background um, where you change the color based on the color scale right there. All right. So anyway, that was, that's how I did the colors on the trails. So obviously we don't want that full background. So we're going to take the output of the transform and put it into the input of the fast noise. And that masks it out so that we only have the fast noise solid color right behind that logo. And let's add the duplicate node. And same way, we're gonna set up a number of copies. Let's do uh, 25 copies. And this is the time offset. So let's do it at minus 0.5. Okay, let's set up a logo animation. Um, click the transform, go to the first keyframe and move the logo to the upper left. We'll set a keyframe. We'll go toward the end of the composition and move the logo back down that way. And you can see that we have the trails and the trails are going to, the color of the trails is going to change based on the fast noise color that we set up. And I added a couple other things. I did an edge detect and that creates that boxy edge around it, which actually that's kind of an interesting look in itself. And to do, to kind of blend it, I went into the settings and use this blend property. So you can kind of get the edge along with some of the colors more copies, a little longer tail. That's basically how I set it up. I added in a few more things. There was a, another edge detect, a glow. I think the most interesting thing here is the fast noise and to be able to change the color based on the time of the animation. Okay, thanks so much for watching guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you can find something really interesting to do with this effect. Um, remember, you can download it from my website, buildjustice.com. Click into the effects area and you'll see the, the just color trails along with um, a lot of other effects that I've created. If you enjoy my content, make sure that you like and subscribe and definitely comment down below. I'd really like to know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. All right, I'll see you guys next time.